I'm here at the Starfront Observatory in Texas with two of the best astrophotographers to find the answer to an extremely important question. Who's the fastest astrophotographer? Being a good space photographer takes precision, patience, and time. But we don't care about any of that right now because today we're going for speed. I'm with Bray Falls and Antoine. Bray Falls is one of the best astrophotographers in the world with multiple astronomical discoveries and awards. He claims to be the fastest astrophotographer this side of the Mississippi. And with an incredible ability to post eclipse photos to his social media as the eclipse is still happening, he may truly be the quickest of them all. But Antoine has come to Texas to challenge Bray's track record in an epic duel of astrophotographers. And Antoine is no pushover, having multiple awards and publications under his belt. He's also several inches taller than Bray. Of course, we all want to know how a photographer of average pace would fare, so I'll be joining in on the challenge. Think of it like your average Joe competing against Olympic performers. To figure out who's the fastest, we're going to have a timed race. Who can accurately align the camera and tracker, point correctly to a deep space target, and take a photo in the shortest amount of time. Of course, we have to set some ground rules. We'll be using the same tracker, camera, and lens with the same settings a Skywatcher, Star Adventurer tracking mount, an Astro-modified Canon R6 camera, and a 135mm lens. You can only take a single 30-second photo. That means you'll have to align, point, focus, and shoot, all in one go, no test shots. The target we'll be photographing is Messier object number 16, the Eagle Nebula. The Eagle Nebula is an active star-forming region located in a bright part of the Milky Way in the constellation Serpens. At the heart of the Eagle Nebula is the famous Pillars of Creation, an image taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. We'll be grading everyone's attempt on a scoring system. One point for setting up and taking the photo in the fastest amount of time, one point for whoever gets the Eagle Nebula closest to the center of their image, and one point to whoever has the best tracking and image quality. Whoever has the highest score will be crowned the fastest astrophotographer. First up to bat is me. I'll be going first to give us a baseline of what an astrophotographer of average pace can do. All right, Bray, give me the, uh, give me the three, two, one. All right, three, two, one, go. <laughs> I have no light, so this is going to be great. I'm just doing it blind. I can't see. I can't see. Oh, I'm putting this in the wrong way. I'm so going to lose because this is Bray's setup. <laughs> Coming up on 30 seconds, not looking good. Boom. Boom. Uh, oh, wait. The ball head. You just do this. Can I turn the camera on? <laughs> uh, how do I turn the camera on? <laughs> <laughs> Who uses Canon anyway? Uh, is it on the front? Uh, it's on the back left. By your left thumb. You're holding the camera. Uh, here. Aha! I got it. He's, he's done it. Manual focus. I don't know if I'm on it, but uh, I don't think I am. Nope. All right, we're going for it. It's taking a photo. Time. Okay. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> I was trying to figure out how to turn the camera on. <laughs> I don't know Canon, so I didn't know where the power button was. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's so bright. Right oh, there. Oh, oh, it's in frame! Oh, yeah, it's yeah, in yeah. frame! Oh. Look at that! This, this Next up is the challenger, Antoine. Let's see what this tall French speed demon is made of. All right, three, two, one, get it. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, like this. I put a wrist, come here. All right. I can't say shit, man. <laughs> Welcome to the club. <laughs> There's like so much dirt on this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna win, dude. 
I can see it. You sure about that? Yeah. I think you're gonna not have it in the frame. Oh shit, the tracker! <laughs> I was off. <laughs> Time. There's two hope. Is it in? Please tell me it's in. Yes. It's in. Woo! Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm better than you so far. Close though, close. If Bray can center it, he might win. Finally, we've got the defending self-proclaimed champion, Bray Falls. Can he beat Antoine's incredible speed? Let's find out. Three, two, one, go! Right, Bray's running. Now reaching the tracker. Oh, your light's blinding me, dude. Get that light out of here. Where's making demands? No one cares. <laughs> Ooh, you're currently at 16 seconds. Brother, dirt, there's dirt on my shoe. Yeah, same, same. Oh, I just got bit by something on my hand pretty bad. Oh, Ow, fuck. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, he Not, was fucking so much shit. I, know. <laughs> I don't even care anymore. It actually burns really bad, whatever oh, just no. bit me. Ow. Do we call it off? Nah, we got it. Okay, oh, Britt is aiming. Aiming, aiming. I don't know if we're in. Ow. And it's just about to take a it's shot. Yep. And go. One, zero, two. Oh, okay. That's pretty close. Yeah, centering wise, he's number one. And I got bit by Harvester Ant. He risked it for the biscuit. Ow. Oh, yeah, they're everywhere, dude. Like, mm, like no right wonder. Here. Yeah, it's pins and needles, man. Ooh. Pins and needles. Oh, got bit by the Harvester Ant. Yeah. Now that we finished, let's take a look at the final results. We'll take a look at my photo first. As you can see, I managed to get the Eagle Nebula in the frame, even though it was at the very edge. My polar alignment and tracking was pretty good too. Now, let's see how our competitors did. The first point goes to the competitor who had the fastest setup time. And between Antoine and Bray, Antoine was the winner with a 40 second setup time blazing through it over Bray's one minute and two second setup time. Next, let's look at who had the target closest to the center of frame. If we compare them side by side, we can see that Bray's image has the target closer to the center, giving him the point over Antoine, bringing the score to a tie. So the final point and the tiebreaker will be determined by who has the better tracking quality. Who will win it all? Who will be crowned the fastest astrophotographer? Well, if we zoom in on the stars, we can see that Bray is the clear winner. Despite being bit by a harvester ant, Bray was able to push through the pain to earn the title of the fastest astrophotographer. Great effort by both Bray and Antoine. And if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, and be sure to check out Bray and Antoine's YouTube channels, which I'll link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you all next time.